Hello, this is Tony and Tony's Music. I'm going to start a new project on Create Studio 3, 3.3.1 version. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a background in and I'm going to show you how to use the keyframes, which are the animation keyframes, right? First of all, I'm going to take this up to 10. There. Then I'm going to get a few items to animate. I can start off with the character, put that there, and bring him down a bit. So he's only small, right? I can get to another thing, I will get to a shape, put a shape in. A right, shape will be alright, just do that, and knock it down a bit there, and put it up there. And I want to do something else like icon, which is like normal everyday stuff that you can get on some odd weird things as well put them on a desk be okay i think i got on no it ain't gone on what's up in there with that desk it's on but it ain't showing oh, that's it delete one delete them both now one that's it okay so we need to put them all the way to 10 as well Right, so we do that to 10. Up to 10, so we've got them things out. I'm going to take that down because that's quite quite large. Oh, we could have the table there. And we want more, one more thing like a element or something like that would affect, do an effect as well. And try and get our effect moving across the screen. We can. Let's try. Let's try, I don't know, this one. Let's try that one, I think. I'm going to do that one. Right, so that's a fire effect, right? So we can do that. That might be interesting to do that one. Right, so if we can see if we can stretch that one. I can't stretch that one, that's the thing. Can't stretch that one, so never mind about that. We'll, we'll just try it anyway. Because it's a video and we can animate it as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that one first, right? So, we're going to do click on add animation, position, scale, and opacity. And then I'm going to click on easing linear, right? So, we're going to go there. We're going to start off at the beginning, and that's coming from there. Then we go, we're going to take that across there, and then bigger. And then we need the opacity lowering because it's going to start burning out as it's getting bigger. Like that. So, as you can see, going like that, and then it started to go like that. So it's gone bigger than that, but you can see it's starting to phase out a little bit right, because I've put opacity, took opacity off it. Right? So you can see that's growing and that. That's what you do with the keyframe. But you can do it with all sorts of things as well. Um, like this table. I'm going to set an automatic motion up first. So it's position, shifting left. Right, so it's doing that. Then you can add an animation further down. The linear position. And... Shadow, we'll do that. I'll try and do that on that one. Right, so with that one, we start there where it is. So it's already moving in to there. So that's where the beginning position is. So we're going to go across here, take that across, and we're going to add shadow to it. And then add shadow three. And that's going to be black, right? So, if you see that, watch. There's now, there's now shadow, and then there's shadow. Whether that would be useful for anything, I don't know, but we'll see. But it's something you can do. You know what I mean? So, let's have a look at that so far with them two, right? And that's moved, and it's doing that. So it's had a gap between when it come on. And then you've done that, but you can always take that all the way down to there. It looks like that. Right, and it'll go. 
right so it could be sliding a bit further from there if you move that right across so you do and then there's a light on it just falls on it somewhere of course it's entirely shadow right then you've got a shape up there so i would do the shape next as i said you could do the um, the animation wherever you wanted to do it really so it doesn't have to be at the beginning you can do it somewhere in the middle right position scale rotation and easing linear right so you click on the first one move it to where you want it then you can click on the second one and then that one goes there and then we can go actually down there actually so down there there we go so it lands beyond the, the table on the, on the thing yeah, right you could do that and what I'm going to do is with this one I need to go on to properties to do rotation 90 92 that is 90 right so if you do that you'll see what happens in a minute right do you see that rotating 90 you could do 180 if you wanted to so let's try that instead actually so we do 180 rotation right so we go back let's rotate it one full round and then on there we need to make that bigger as well I think I did the scale then I? I think I done scale yeah I did right so that's that right so what's happening now let's have a look shall we see that's staying where it is and then all of a sudden it goes big now the last one is the character character is more difficult than the others because if it being a 3d character you're going to have um, other things besides there are other things on it so what you do is you click on your ad animation and go on to there you see character view so you need to click on that if you want it turned round uh, in a different orientation your position and your scale as well and you could have the other rotation for normal rotation around that way uh, this is going to be 3d rotation that's why you need a character view right so if you go on there very beginning place you can go over this way that's his beginning spot right and then he's going to come on there and he's going to go that big and we want to rotate him so we're going to rotate let's go let's go backwards rotate him that way right so that's what's going to happen right so you're going to do that he's gone from little to big and he's rotated that way see so you've got this view that way so that's how that's how you do that one so if you have a look at all of them you can see all of them can be done in different ways there's lots of things you can do but you can move that the character now by adding another uh, animation so it looks like he's walking away or something like that because of doing that so that's the sort of thing you can do with it so i hope this uh, little tutorial is uh, useful to you and if so, can you please like and subscribe to Tony's Music. Thank you.